All right, so this is my update. So how did I do on not going to the store for 2020? We're just a couple days left. We have just like two days left in this year. Thank God. Goodbye, 2020. So I actually did pretty good. I went to the store like three times in total. And it was for items that I had no other way to get this item. Yes, I could have ordered them online, but it would have cost me a lot more to pay for the shipping. So I just bit the bullet and did it. But what I discovered is that there were a lot of times I really did want to go to the store simply out of boredom. I just was looking for something to alleviate the boredom that is my life during the Corona pandemic 2020. And I think a lot of us do this. We go shopping out of boredom and not, not just during pandemics. I think a lot of us just go shopping out of boredom. So this experiment caused me to find creative solutions to whatever tasks I was facing in my daily life. As far as cooking or needing a supply for some project, whatever I was doing, I had to really think about what resources I already had at home and how I could use them or use them in a new and creative way, which actually was part of alleviating the boredom. Instead of going to the store, I was finding creative solutions. So that was interesting and surprising for me. Another idea about not going to the store as much is to make sure you have all of the items that you need at one time. So for me, I drink coffee. And what I'll do is if I see coffee on sale, I will buy three or four of them. I don't buy 20 or 30 or some crazy amount. I get enough that I know I'm going to use up within six months. And I always check the expiration to make sure that it's going to still be good within that six month time. Another thing you can do is to share the task of going out with a partner or a neighbor or a sister or a brother because if you do that then you're not going out as much and making sure you get all of your supplies that you need at one time like really having a comprehensive list and throwing in a couple of extra cans or you know an extra bag or two of beans so that you know if something happens you're still good to go like imagine you do get sick or there is a blizzard or the store I don't know catches on fire I don't know what could happen but this way you know you have a backup you have some supply at home so this was how I went for not going to the store for 2020 happy new year